Hey, welcome back to the vlog. This is the fourth episode in a series of how to make a 48 hour film on some sort of budget, whether it's big or small. Today, we're looking at microphones. So today we're going to look at a variety of microphones that you can get um, for a smaller or greater budget and some of the items that you need for recording audio as well and also for holding the microphones and getting them onto the set where you need them to record sound. Now the first microphones we're going to look at are a couple of camera mounted ones um, for low budget filmmaking. The first is um, this little thing here, it's a powered microphone um, which means it's got a voltage, a carrier voltage running through it to make any ambient noise or um, line noise around it uh, less significant than you might get with a normal condenser mic. This is a, a directional mic. You can pick these up from Global Media Pro if I put a link in the description below. They just take a battery in here and plug into the side of most DSLR or video cameras um, and a lot of cell phones can take them as well. And it's just got a standard cold shoe mount on it here. So it just screws on top of the camera like that. And away you go. That's a really good way to get um, directional audio. It's a small shotgun mic. It's not perfect. It's going to isolate most noise outside of where you want to shoot. And it's good for about four, five, six foot range. And will generally pick up quite clean sound. And is a pretty good price. Now if you want to take a step up from the Global Media Pro mic or the similar um, cheap shotgun microphones like that there's the Rode um, Video Micro mic. Now this thing's about a hundred bucks, it's got a shock mount, a um, small cable that goes to your uh, camera or, or a cell phone or whatever you want or GoPro. This is the ideal one to go with the GoPro if you're filming with that, though you will need an adapter like that to go with it. This microphone's only about a hundred bucks and it does come with the dead cat and it's an absolutely fantastic little mic it will give you very good sound and that will cut out a lot of wind noise do need to uh, be a bit careful with it it's not the same as the big ones it's not going to be as good as a blimp but um, for a hundred bucks that is an absolutely fantastic microphone Rode also do a variation on that microphone, which is this one here. Um, the dead cat's a lot more solid on it, so it's not as easy to take off. But that's just got a little four-pin uh, four um, audio jack there. And that there's designed to go straight in here on the end of an iPhone. And you can just plug that straight into your iPhone. You can then record your video on your iPhone, and you've got this excellent shotgun mic. That is brilliant sound, it's about a hundred times better than the built-in mics in the iPhone, though they're not bad themselves. And it gives you directional um, audio once again, and that there, if you're shooting on a cell phone or just want to capture audio on the cell phone, brilliant thing to have. If you want to get a little bit more professional and take the game up and go into balanced microphones with separate audio recorders, you can start looking at something like the Rode NTG2. Now, this here is a, a real pro mic, um, it's the sort of thing that you'll find on uh, professional film sets and film studios. Um, it's got a more robust dead cat on it and it's a longer microphone in itself. The technology in here is a hell of a lot better than you're going to find in your budget microphones. It's going to give you much more directional sound, a much wider dynamic range of audio um, and it's going to pick up a, a lot less noise around the side. The dead cat also has um, extra buffering and stuff inside so it's going to pick up a lot less wind noise than any of the other microphones. You'll notice also with the balanced microphone that it's got the three pin XLR port on the back. Um, this takes a cable that has extra shielding on it which protects the audio signal from any outside interference so if you're running past electrical cables or anything it's going to be much less significant noise that that picks up. Now this little microphone also comes with a hand grip that unscrews from the boom pole and you can get these um, boom poles, they're not too pricey and um, it's a couple of hundred dollars for that and you can get your microphone up and away over a subject and get very good audio without getting your audio person in shot. 
Now, if you're going to get a microphone like this, you're going to need an audio recorder to go with it. So you take your XLR cable, run that from the microphone, and down into something like the, the Tascam D600 here. Now, this is a high definition um, linear audio recorder. It's got two microphone inputs in the side. Now, that can take either the XLRs you're seeing there or a normal guitar type TSK or TRS cable. Um, it'll record sound onto SD cards at a very high resolution. It does mean you have to synchronize the audio that you capture here with the picture you get on the camera later on. So it's always a good idea to record what we call reference audio on the camera, even if you're not using that as your primary audio. And then it, you can synchronize or match the two sounds up at any time later. Now, if you want to get into the more professional stuff and have balanced audio, but don't quite have the budget for the NTG, for the Rode microphone, you can always pick up something like this. Once again, this is a Global Media Pro microphone. Comes in a nice case. It's a similar sort of shotgun to the Rode. It's almost as good. Um, the advantage being in that it's a hell of a lot cheaper. Um, these are available fairly readily. I'll put another link below. And they come with a mic stand, fairly simple one, which will go into the end of any mic boom. Um, a small uh, foam windsock, which isn't fantastic, but it does do a reasonable job in light breezes. And of course, um, the XLR cable that comes with it as well. That one, this particular microphone, will give you quite good um, directional audio in short spaces. Now, if you want to start getting into picking up audio from a greater distance away and without picking up sound that's around you, say you're shooting near a stream or on a beach or something like that, then it's a good idea to get something along these lines. This is a uh, an M201 Global Media uh, microphone. I've been able to shoot on a beach over about 20-30 meters and pick up vocal cleanly with this microphone. It does come with another foam sock and also um, comes with shock mounts though you might want to get a better quality shock mount than the one it comes with. Now for a, a different type of microphone um, if you're shooting video of somebody that's far away from the camera and it's not practical to actually get a boom mic up to them so say you're shooting a picture of somebody like this then it's quite a good idea to pick up something along these. It's another Rode mic. Um, I don't intentionally go out of my way to buy Rode mics. It just tends to be what's available and generally the better quality ones most of the time. This is the um, Rode lapel mic. Um, it's just got the same four pin plug and that will go nicely into a phone or something similar to that. The phone can go in the pocket with an audio recorder turned on and the lapel mic can just be run up under the shirt and pinned inside the collar or something like that and that will get you a very clean vocal sound um, do check the vocal every time you do a take make sure that there's not too much noise or rustling or anything like that especially if you've got a bed um, but it means that you can get very clean audio from somebody that's a long way away when you can't get a microphone near them any other way um, i've got two other audio recorders to show you um, that are professional level even though they look small and toy like this is the Zoom H1. This um, records beautiful high definition audio. It's got a line in here that will take um, most of the microphones and a line out for monitoring. Um, and it's got a lot of different options on it for a, for a small recorder. This is used a hell of a lot. It's got its own microphones on it and they are kind of directional but not terribly much. It's often a good idea to use one of these and to plug something like the Video Micro Mic into that. You can use something like a lighting spigot here which just happens to go between the two threads in these things and so you can combine them together and come up with a bit of an audio rig like that as well just a little hack that's quite useful to know this recorder is the zoom h4n it's pretty much the mainstream recorder for a lot of low budget film and um, tv and video people it's got two um, multi-use inputs, so they'll take XLR or TRS um, lines in. Plus it's got its own microphones on top. You can change the angle of reception on this from 120 degrees to 90 degrees, making it um, semi-directional all by itself. Plus it's got a microphone on the back so that it can record audio close up as well. It does chew through batteries and it shoots to SD card. So make sure you do keep a good stock of rechargeable batteries if you've got one of these. Um, or it will run off mains power as well. Uh, one other bit of info I've got, if you wanted to get a mic boom 
something like this so you can get your microphone in close to your actors either underneath or from above but you don't really want to spend a couple of hundred dollars on something like the road one here it's very easy to go down to a local hardware store and just pick up a window cleaning pole like this this is one I got and I just cut the um, thread off the end of it and I just put a bolt down the end that's got the right thread for a microphone mount and at the same time you can get a thread adapter which changes it, changes it from the half inch to the three quarter inch and that will mount any that will take any microphone holder that you want to put on top of that there and there you've got a makeshift boom pole which um, will extend out quite a distance that's only about 15 20 bucks now if you don't have a lapel mic but you want to get audio from some people that are a decent distance away and you don't want to go and spend six seven hundred dollars or a thousand dollars on a carbon fiber boom pole you can always go and get a fiberglass window cleaning pole from your local hardware store now as you can see this is about um, three meters long as it is and you just need to loosen it at the end push that all the way out and if you put a decent shotgun microphone on the end of that you can get it you can get it about two or three meters above your subject and get pretty good audio um, without it necessarily getting into shot so I can hold it right up out of shot there and it's way over that phoenix palm behind me one of these you can pick up for about 30 bucks and that's a hell of a lot better than a thousand bucks it's not black so if you do get it into shot it's going to stand out like um, well like an aluminium cleaning pole all you need to do with these is just cut the um, cleaning fittings off the end up here and put one of those spigots I was showing you just before in the end here and then that you can mount just about anything onto as well I just use a little screw here to hold it into place so um, that's what I've got for audio gear um, what am I going to be using for 48 hours well it's entirely possible that if I'm going to go out and shoot the 48 hours on my cell phone that I can just hold this into shot and um, record everything using my other cell phone the audio recorder on your phone is perfectly usable for doing 48 hour shoots just using your phone it's simple you've got it don't don't be afraid to use it if you want to get something better get one of the small directional mics if you've got more money to throw away and you're going to keep making more movies go get some of the pro stuff like the road gear it's well worth the um, investment one other thing I need to mention about audio is headphones make sure that everyone who's using a camera or an audio recorder has a really good set of headphones available and if you can a set of headphones available for your director or anyone monitoring as well it's amazing what you'll pick up wearing the headphones that you won't pick up if you're just listening to the the world around you your brain filters so much stuff out and when you've got a pair of headphones on it's all very direct in your ears and so you tend to collect little bits and pieces like a lawnmower going in the background a bird chirping a dog barking a plane flying overhead all of that sort of thing that you just filter out neurologically you'll catch if you're wearing the headphones so it's definitely worth making sure you've got them on hope this has been useful um, if you like this click the share button um, subscribe so you can get more of these click the like and uh, leave comments below if you've had experiences with other microphones and things that you think other people might find useful please add that in the comments below as well and we'll see you tomorrow with some more thanks heaps